Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel, who is in Istanbul. Uh, Richard, thanks for being here. I'm hoping that you can walk us through to start with um, why it was uh, that the Saudi government was so uh, focused on Khashoggi. We have a sample of some of his Washington Post columns. Saudi Arabia wasn't always this representative. Now it's unbearable, he writes in one. Saudi Arabia's crown prince wants to crush extremists, but he's punishing the wrong people. Saudi Arabia's crown prince is acting like Putin. Uh, these are in, in some ways very personal uh, criticisms. Can you kind of give us some background about uh, how the crown prince uh, Im interacted with uh, Mr. Khashoggi? Well, it's hard to know exactly what may have motivated the Saudi crown prince and why he, according to Turkish uh, authorities, would have organized and ordered this assassination. Uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia, of course, denies that it did any such thing. But it seems like a massive overreaction uh, and something that has totally backfired on Saudi Arabia. Uh, experts we've spoken to are asking themselves, and many people in this region are asking themselves tonight, what was he thinking? Uh, this seems to have been a very emotional operation, uh, an operation that was launched with, uh, with n not much uh, thought about the potential consequences. What kind of person orders an assassination inside a diplomatic building uh, that will beat a trail right to the government that, that owns that building? Uh, many journalists have been killed by authoritarian governments around the world. Usually they try to cover their tracks a little <laughs> bit using a poison or having a car bomb or at least something that gives a plausible deniability, not doing it inside a diplomatic building with a hit squad arriving uh, into the country and then leaving on, on chartered planes. So uh, it's very hard to know what would have motivated uh, the, the Saudi crown prince or somebody else to order this kind of operation that is backfired so badly on, uh, on, uh, on the Saudi government. Because, yes, uh, Khashoggi was a, was a critic of Saudi Arabia, but there are many critics uh, of, the, of the crown prince. Absolutely. And, and that is uh, a, a, an interesting point. I think the question for us now here uh, in the United States is what exactly does this mean uh, for our relationship uh, with Saudi Arabia? We actually have uh, some new comments from the president on this question. He was just answering questions from reporters who are traveling with him. Let's take a look at that. We'll talk about it. Mr. President, are you reevaluating the relationship with Saudi Arabia? Well, we're going to find out what happened with respect to the terrible situation in Turkey having to do with Saudi Arabia and the reporter. And nobody knows quite yet. Nobody's been able to put it all together. People are starting to form ideas. And as they're formed, we'll let you know. But it certainly is a terrible thing. So a terrible thing. He seems to uh, cast this in a little bit more negative light than he did yesterday. But at the same time, no indications from President Trump that this is something that will fundamentally change uh, the U.S. relationship with Saudi Arabia. Steve Mnuchin still attending a conference there at that Ritz-Carlton hotel uh, that was actually used uh, as something of a luxury prison for some of the uh, political enemies uh, of MBS. Uh, what's your take on how this should affect uh, U.S. relations with Saudi Arabia? Well, I think what President Trump was saying right now is that he wants an explanation from Saudi Arabia. So far, Saudi authorities haven't been giving an explanation. They've only been saying that Khashoggi went into this consulate behind me. And they say that uh, as far as they know, he left and uh, was alive and well, and they don't know what happened to him after that. Uh, what we've seen uh, over the last week or so is increasing pressure from the Turks, where with leaking out information, uh, more information coming out today about these recordings uh, and what may have been the source of these recordings, pressure from the Washington Post, uh, pressure from the White House as well, pressure from members of, of Congress to get the Saudis to at least give more of an explanation. And today we saw the uh, Saudi Arabia say we'll participate with Turkey in some sort of joint investigation. So we will have to see what the Saudis say. Uh, they may come up with a preposterous excuse. They may try and uh, blame another government. They try and might try to blame a rogue agent. But I think what you just heard from the president is him saying, let's hear what the Saudis have to say. Uh, and, and maybe he will accept that uh, whatever uh, offer they have and, and use that as a, an ex excuse to resume uh, negotiations. But I, I think now the, the ball has been put firmly in the Saudis court to come up with a, a better answer.
Yeah, some of what you were just saying, Richard, suggests uh, warming relations potentially between the United States and Turkey. This also coincides with the release of Pastor Brunson. What role do you think that relationship, the one between U.S. and Turkey, uh, is playing in how uh, this plays out with Mr. Khashoggi? Uh, so there are a lot of dynamics that are at play right now as this crisis a little bit came out of no place. Uh, the, the Everybody knew that uh, that uh, Khashoggi was not a uh, not in good graces with the Saudi government. He himself knew it. He knew that uh, it wasn't safe for him to be living in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the, the Turks knew it. That's why he'd been living in exile in the United States and spending quite a bit of time uh, here in Turkey as well. Uh, but uh, now. Uh, you see, you see, Turkey's uh, relationship with Saudi Arabia has come to a head. Uh, this crisis has now uh, made it not an open war yet, but certainly an open wound uh, between the Turkish government and the Saudi government. And that for Turkey could be a very expensive prospect. Uh, Saudi Arabia is, is an enormously powerful, oil rich kingdom. And uh, Turkey has been in the midst of an economic war with the United States over the incarceration of Pastor Brunson. So I think it's, it makes sense, and I think that's what we saw today, as, as Turkey is looking at its future, at least in the short term, and it's seeing a fight with rich Saudi Arabia. It wants to get out of the fight and did get out of the fight, I, I think, uh, with, with the United States by releasing the pastor. Mm. Richard Engel, thanks so much for your perspective, as always. Really appreciate it. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.